Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need your Blue Yeti microphone right here. You're going to need a, a 3.5 audio cable right here. This is the cable that brings power to your Blue Yeti. And then, of course, you're going to need your camera. Also, you're going to need a computer to connect to Blue Yeti microphone too. So I'm going to be using a MacBook Pro. Um, you can use any kind of computer to hook this up as long as it has a USB connection. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to hook up our micro USB or whatever this particular cable is called to the Blue Yeti microphone here. So plug it in on this side here. And then we'll take the other end, the USB portion, and plug that into the computer. That'll give power to this microphone. Okay, so since I am using the MacBook Pro, I gotta live that dongle life here and hook it in versus or via dongle. So just like that. Okay, next up you wanna hook up your 3.5 millimeter audio jack into the Blue Yeti just like this. And then hook up the other end into your camera or your M50. Okay, next up, you're going to want to get on your camera here and you're going to want to go to your manual settings. So what you do is you, from this screen here, you'll click on menu and it takes you to this first page here. And as you can see right now, I have it set on sound recording on auto. So I'm going to want to change that over to manual so I'll click this middle button here it's on auto click it again and we're going to go down to manual just like that okay as you can see now this is the setup that I have going the blue yeti is hooked into the camera here so now we're going to want to adjust the settings because as you can tell right now whenever I am talking it's going past that 12 decibel marker. So you want to stay under that 12 decibels to get some good audio. Right now, just talking plainly without any, um, you know, not elevating my voice or anything like that, I'm going past the 12 decibel mark. So you go down here to the record levels, hit enter, and as you can see, it's already set right here as a default. I'm gonna to wanna to take it down because right now I'm still talking and it's going past the 12 decibel mark here. So let's take it down, down, down. Let's go low, low, lower. As you can see, it, it is coming down here on because I was going almost all the way to the end. Let's take it down further here. Okay, so as you can see, if I take it just past the beginning mark and I'm talking in my regular voice, it's going under that 12 decibel mark. And that's where we wanna be on this. Uh, depending on how far you are away from your Blue Yeti microphone, you want to stay under that 12 decibel mark. Because anything past that, your audio is its not going to sound very good. It's going to sound distorted. So, Okay, so once you have it set where you like it, you'll hit this button right here in the middle for to set it. And now it's set. Um, something that you might want to do is you're going to have to play around with it to see which settings work better because after you have this set, it may not sound good for you in post. If so, just go through and adjust your settings. And once you get it the way that you like it, a good idea would be to possibly just take a picture with your phone on um, where your settings are at. That way you can just go back to that whenever you're in different recording situations. Because if you're recording on maybe a, a different type of room that's got echo, that setting may need adjusted versus um, if you're going to be doing like a podcast setup or, or interview setup, it may be adjusted that way. So maybe just take a picture with your phone as a good reminder of where you need to set this each time you go to film. So every environment is uh, different. So just find the one that fits the particular environment that you are filming in. Okay, so that's the easy way to set up this system here with your using your Blue Yeti microphone. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and throw a thumbs up on it and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos like this all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. Uh, so until then, get out there, use your equipment and be creative.